Bill, Pomegranate Bistro has an eclectic combination of style and preparation. Tell us about it. It's uh, kind of in a strange location. You feel like you're this industrial park, but you're across from Whole Foods. You know you're not too far away from, from, from food. Um, the thing we love about it is it's got this combination of the southern stuff like you mentioned. My wife's from Kentucky and it's also got the northwest feel so it's been this hybrid that allows her to feel like she moved to Seattle and can kind of fit in. It's also got just unique twists on food that we enjoy so the Brussels sprouts don't come as whole Brussels sprouts. They're kind of shaved off in a salad or um, other things we like are their approach to, to pizza. It's, they call it flatbread but it has different toppings on it that we weren't used to so you can get chorizo or smoked salmon on top of your pizza. You watch everything being made in their catering operations. They have this huge kitchen that stretches out right off the restaurant. So uh, sometimes my daughter will just sit at the window and watch the guy kneading bread the whole entire meal, which is great if you're a parent with young kids because um, you don't have to entertain. Someone else is doing it for you and that part's free. Uh, so we, we love the food, we love the, the drinks, and we love the fact that we can go anywhere from just a sandwich and you know get out of there pretty reasonably or we can try an entree that might be up to 30 bucks but it, it's going to be quality food. All right so Sarah how was your experience? What did you eat when you went there? So I loved it. I've driven by that spot and I thought what is this random you know yeah what is that a restaurant? Do mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't go there <laughs> as I'm driving by to go to like a pumpkin patch or something like that on the east <laughs> side. Um, so I walked in and you know we um, we ordered we started with one of the, I think it's a fire bread, so we had that, we had this like Thai flank steak with bean sprouts, and it was awesome. I wouldn't have typically ordered that, but for some reason it caught my eye. Um, and then from there I actually had um, the short ribs, which are something that I have been trying to make myself. It takes all day, it's terrible. But uh, these ones were amazing. They just, you know, fell right apart the second you put your fork in them. They were fantastic. And then we finished it off with Lisa Dupar's peanut butter pie, which was like, it just like melted in your mouth. And I'm not even a huge peanut butter fan, but it was so good. So all in all, it was a really great dining experience. I was so super happy. I you was, were happy for the reference. I was, yes, I was very happy. Now, Lisa Dupar is from the South. She's kind of known for combining Southern comfort mm -hmm. food with a um, updated French style of cooking. Matt, how was your visit? It was very good. Um, went for brunch on a Sunday and kind of beat the rush, got got in there right before the, the line was out the door. Mm -hmm. But it's one of these things where it's completely in like a strip mall type place and it looks so industrial on the outside, but it's completely night and day different when you get inside. It's very cute. I mean, you look up in the, in the ceiling and it's painted pink. It's painted mm -hmm. pomegranate pink and it's, it's a very nice touch. And I can totally understand. I, I, the catering part caught my eye as well because mm -hmm. With a nine-month-old kid, I can understand a year from now that this yeah. is going to be a godsend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, but basically, had I had breakfast burritos, so I had um, eggs and sausage all wrapped up into flour tortillas, and then my wife had a flatbread. We both had Bloody Marys, and so that was a good way to to start the start the brunch. And speaking of beverages, um, cocktails. Yeah, I had a couple. <laughs> um, I had the pomerita, which was like a pomegranate margarita. It was delicious. It was very refreshing. It was pink. It had tequila. So all things that I like. Um, and then I also um, at the end, I had an adult hot chocolate. So just kind of a spiked hot chocolate that came with a lot of whipped cream, which I was very thrilled about in this big cup. So um, it was great. I mean, I think that they had really playful. And I think ultimately all of her food is very playful, you know, with these southern touches. Um, but also, I really appreciate the season it being seasonal. Yeah. Bill, yeah. talk to me about general ambiance of the restaurant. Uh, I think the service is the thing about the ambiance. Um, I guess I don't pay as much attention to the actual how it looks, but how it feels really comes through with the people doing the wait staff and, and, the, and the hostesses. And every time we've just been really, really well taken care of. I think the first three times we went, we had the same server. She had a kid our age, and we ended up making these connections. And you didn't think she'd remember us, but she did, even after five or six months. And that made a huge difference to us, that someone was there and actually interacting with us and thinking about us more as just you know their job, but kind of as someone to talk to and enjoy. So. And Matt, what did you think about the service when you went? Uh, the service was OK for us. Um, our waitress was a little bit off. I mean, it, it was very busy, and so you, you can't really fault her for that. But she just kind of had this aloofness to her that she just kind of looked 
right through us whenever we were ordering and she was already, it seemed like she was already thinking about the next thing that she was going to have to do. Other than that, things were fine. All right, well, Bill, Pomegranate Bistro was your pick. Why don't you give us a sum up? Um, good food, comfort food in some ways that has a, a healthy touch to it, and it's a comfortable place to be. Yeah. And Sarah, how about you? I'll echo comfortable. I will also say seasonal and get the peanut butter pie. <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Good food, definitely do the Bayou Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, well, go get a Bloody Mary and try some Pacific Northwest comfort food for yourself at Pomegranate Bistro, 18005 Northeast 68th Street in Redmond, 425-556-5972. It is open every day for breakfast and lunch and Tuesday through Saturday for dinner. Brunch is served on the weekends.